What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overload here. She's talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. And I need to shout out this uh Reddit user, Barg Barg Goblin or Bar Goblin, I'll call you. Um, for putting out a post in the fan theory subreddit. I'll leave a link to this in the description that went over what they think is going on with Michael Myers and what what is wrong with this individual. We know in the film in this series anyway i'll say from the timeline we're now with michael myers is, is is intended to be not supernatural but of course you have the arguments for everything that happened from halloween kills that i really cannot have i really can't refute other than of course telling you guys that they're still telling us that michael myers is not supernatural so by their admission and what they intend to do he is not supernatural in this timeline still but yes surviving all of that stuff that he did at the end of halloween kills you know you kind of shoot yourself in the foot there with what your intent is even no, yes your intent and i will say you still are saying that he is not supernatural so he's not supernatural but this person went into a theory talking about what is wrong with him because we know in this series he has been in a psych ward for many years he's escape set psych ward he just snapped at the blink of an eye when he was a young boy killed his sister stopped speaking we now know also from the 2018 film i believe it was stated he can speak and chooses not to so this individual bar goblin came up with the idea that michael is suffering from s solipsism i think is how it's pronounced solipsism syndrome so this apparently that individuals experiencing this feel reality is not real in the sense of being external to their own minds the syndrome is characterized by feelings of loneliness detachment and indifference to the outside world so going off of that you know we can gather stuff like that to be possible for michael myers and why he's doing what he does in halloween kills they go on to continue that is mentioned he's always stared out his sister's window and it suggested he was looking inward he said they go on to say that they think it's possible michael was testing himself to see if he thinks this world is real or if he's stuck in an imaginary situation so they said it's not officially recognized as a psychological condition so if he did have it it could very well fly under the radar of his therapist loomis nor sartain would entertain this possibility on top of this michael was typically isolated after killing judith either trapped in his room or the exercise yard being left alone so they went on to talk about in the comment section about how maybe this is why michael likes to go after people like Lori and go after like her friends in 1978 and why there might be a desire for him to return home because of the fact that he's trying to relive this imagination that's going on with his mind so to him none of none of these people that he's hurting are real he has a very of course warped perception of, of reality so they also went into the comment section talking about how they think like burning down the myers home could have a severe impact in his downfall and going on about how Lori's attack in the original movie i think i've even touched on this before in a previous theory video that him attacking Lori could be stemming from his his mind telling him that that's judith someone who he thought had killed many years ago so he recreates this moment over and over again or tries to anyway with Lori and through her friends who we know annie was the most antagonizing of them when they were just walking home from school but you know she's going on about speed kills and you know when he's behind the bush hey creep and you know all these little things that annie was doing to definitely i would say get under michael's skin so if he were to actually be suffering from that that is very little to go off of in the sense that you can present it in a way in which you don't tell us too much other than just what the syndrome is you don't have to go into okay that's why he does this that's why he does that this is why he was over there this is why he's after lore you know you don't have to go into that i think revealing that syndrome would still leave room to a lot of questions because you have to now you now at least have an understanding of okay well this is what he's been dealing with this is why he's like this but why does he do this why does he do that it raises so many other interesting questions about the character i know a lot of people would love for him to remain motiveless and again like i said before you can reveal it in a way that doesn't give him a motive you can leave the parts that i'm talking about up to your own interpretation the fact that he keeps going after the myers house going after things that trigger judith to him because 
he's stuck in some type of loop in his mind that relates to the events of 1963 maybe and he doesn't view our world as reality he's everything around him is imaginary for whatever reason because again that's how this syndrome apparently affects individuals so and again since it's not recognized his psychiatrist like a Loomis or Sartain couldn't recognize it so I guess that also it raised the question well then how do you get it recognized in Halloween ends who who is it that recognizes it in Halloween ends which goes back to what I'm saying you can present it in a way in which it's not outwardly confirmed you could have someone doing exactly what I'm doing telling you what their thoughts are on on about Michael Myers telling you that they think he's suffering from this this is why and this is why they think he's suffering from this without outwardly saying that's exactly what it is you can just present it in a way that raises it as the most logical thing for this timeline but without saying that yes this is definitively what it is that still leaves room for people to discuss it that leaves room for people to still talk about what makes michael myers tick you're leaving room for people to still denounce an idea like that because you aren't telling us that is it is this and only this is nothing else out there that could be causing this like how the curse of thorn storyline basically renders anything else possible because it's definitively telling us that no he was cursed by this he he has this druid curse he has to kill his family and this is what it is this is what's making him tick if you do this syndrome angle you can again present it in a way where michael is speculated to have this by a new character that's introduced or someone who's been studying or looking up on michael and trying to understand him and figure out why he might be like this you could do that and you don't have to spend the whole movie diving into saying, yep, that was correct. This is what it is. There's nothing else that it could be. Like how I feel like you did Tommy Doyle in Halloween 6. Tommy Doyle, I believe, in Halloween 6 was already looking into stuff like that with that Druid curse. And then it was just it was just revealed and confirmed. And, you know, you contained everything to that. It couldn't be anything else because now you've actually confirmed that, yes, it is this. There is no other answers. The syndrome should be left up to saying do you want to accept this or do you want to discuss it further and say it's also other possibilities let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on notification and miss a video in the description i'll link some social media accounts on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video